So this evening we brought the camera out and we wanted to try and show you some of the opportunities that you could exploit using a slower shutter speed in terms of long exposure. Now nighttime in an urban setting we've got lots of traffic moving up and down the road so this is a great opportunity for us to exploit some light trails. So by simply putting the camera onto a tripod and using a slow shutter speed we hopefully can catch the element of movement. So let's have a go. Oh, I'm just waiting for traffic. <laughs> This is, just, this is one of the problems that sometimes happens that as soon as you set your camera up, sod's law, all the traffic disappears. But in the meantime, I can explain to you a little bit more about the set I've got here. So our shutter speed is at one second. Um, now we can change this a little bit depending upon the speed of the traffic. I know there's a car coming up here. So I'm just gonna pre-focus ahead of us and then take the shot just as the traffic moves through. So we've got a good image there, but maybe we can start a little bit later so our trails continue further through the shot. But just to recap, our shutter speed is at one second. Um, our f-stop, we're around about 4.5, but we're trying to keep the ISO low because the problem with bumping it up at night time is that though we can get a slightly better exposure, we don't really need the ISO to do that. The slower shutter speed is going to give us the greater exposure. So I can hear some more traffic coming. So I'm gonna pre-focus on the buildings ahead of me and I'm just gonna wait for it to pass into fray before we take the shot and take the shot. It's much better, we've got that movement there. We're at a point where there's a bit of a junction here, um, a crossing, so some of the cars have slowed a little bit. So there's that kind of slight bit of movement in the, uh, in the colors, it's not a smooth trail. So I may actually move a bit further down and see if we can get a more fluid movement from the cars. So I'm just gonna try it one more time and just let the car pass into the frame a little bit further and I think possibly we maybe try some different angles as well because we're almost at eye height here but maybe something a little bit lower down may make the lines look a bit more dramatic so we've got a van coming up behind me so let's just pre-focus And that was quite nice, but because it's a van, it, it's blocked a lot of this, the scene behind it, unfortunately. So it is a case of trial and error with long exposure. It depends upon the, the vehicle that's moving. Cars tend to be a little bit easier to work with because they don't block so much of the scene like buses and, and, and vans do, really. So you just gotta be patient, really. I think that's, that's the main key to a lot of this is just patience and, and repetition. So I've just set up this composition here of the street light and the tree and that black door, which I really, really like as a single shot. And I'm just gonna lock off the camera so it's totally still and still continuing with the light trail aspect. I'm gonna keep my finger half pressed on the shutter so we're focused on the door across the way and I'm gonna let any motion, any cars pass. And hopefully we can get some white and red. So it's timing, it's all about timing. Maybe that one's not the most perfect one there. I started a little bit early, but if you do it one or two times wrong, you start to get the timings better of when is right. There we go. I feel like I was a bit slow, but no, that worked really, really nicely. So we've got that lovely trail of the, uh, the rear lights and the front lights crossing that scene. So we may need to tweak the, um, the white balance a little bit. It seems a bit warm with the, uh, the incandescent lights here, but that's something we can always tweak a little bit more in editing if necessary. So we may just try another one or two. We've got a bus coming up shortly. So I'm just gonna rejig the composition slightly. Again, focus with the camera locked off. We'll wait till it passes and we'll take the shot. Lovely, again, really, really nice work, excellent. So there we go, it's as easy as that. All you've got to remember is a trial and error process. It can maybe seem a bit frustrating to begin with. You may have to take numerous shots to get the timing right. Some cameras have a little bit of a lag between taking the shot and the shutter actually taking the photograph. So again, maybe expect somewhere between five to 10 attempts per composition. 
And with that said, the composition, those rules, things like leading lines, rule of thirds, they still apply. You can use these light trails to lead yourself into a shot, into a scene, or as you've seen it, they could cross in front of the composition as well. So still keep thinking multi-dimensionally. Still keep your camera either on manual or shutter speed priority try to keep your ISO as low as possible to avoid any noise or grain in the shot. The slow shutter speed will give you the extra exposure you need, so you don't really need to push that ISO much higher than 100, 200 maximum, really.